This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to import audio. Then, we will show you how to render your animation with the audio in a MP4 format. Also, we will import the rendered Krita animated video into KDN Live for the purpose of further editing. Before we begin this Krita tutorial, I will show you the two videos. They are the same, but one was rendered with the proper settings and the other with offset settings, as I will explain later in the video. Open Krita. Go to File, scroll down to New, and click. Once the Create New Document window appears, click on Create. Once your Critic Canvas appears, in the lower left hand corner, click the drop down arrow for the audio. Scroll up to Open Audio and click. Navigate to where the audio is you would like to use with your Krita animation, highlight the audio, and then click Open. Once you have imported your audio into Krita, give it a quick playback to ensure the audio will play. Once this is done in Krita, it is time to bring in or put together your animation. If for some reason you decide the audio is not right for your animation, click the audio drop down arrow and click change audio. Now in creating this example for this Krita tutorial, I did a couple of things. One is, I slowed the frame rate to 1, so as to accommodate the Krita animation function. And 2, I copied a few frames in order to extend the audio. The important thing to remember before we render our Krita animation is your end frame and your frame rate that you set. Once you have this in mind and if you are happy with your Krita animation, it is time to render the animation. Go to File, scroll down to Render Animation and click. Once the Krita Render Animation window appears, make sure that your last frame is the same as your end frame, and that your frame rate is the same as your FPS. And then give your video a name. And then Click OK. Once Krita has finished rendering your Krita animation with audio into a video format, if you did not put the proper frame rate and or end frame, the video may appear as only the audio was rendered like this. 
But if you rendered your credit animation properly with all the right settings, you will see a normal video format like this. Notice as I bring the first rendered credit animation into Cadian Live that just stated audio with the improper settings. It still shows the animation but with the full audio. And then as I bring in the second Krita rendered animation with the proper settings, it has trimmed the audio properly. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like. And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. I, I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Sabayu one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.